Hey everybody, this is AJ with Trading Trainer and I've got a little story for you that ends in a strategy that you need to know how to use. And the story is, well, a lot of my friends, they have no idea what I do. They know I deal with money and investing and trading, but a lot of them don't wanna pass their ideas from me. So I had a friend just recently come up to me and he says, AJ, I've been setting aside a certain amount of money every month to buy stocks. I'm gonna buy these stocks in the long term and I'm just gonna buy a couple of shares or 100 shares, whatever the number might be, every month and I'm just gonna accrue these and they'll be ready for my retirement. And I said, that's great. And he said, is that the best way to do it? And I said, have you ever heard about selling cash covered puts? So I wanna share with you this strategy on how to sell cash covered puts because it kinda of opened my friend's eyes. So first of all, come on over here. Who is this for? Now, if you are an investor who is setting aside money every month to buy securities, instead of buying them outright, we should sell some cash covered puts instead. By the way, the reason why my friend said he wanted to do this was because he was tired of just having his cash sitting in a savings account earning zero interest, right? Earning very little interest. And I said, well, selling cash covered puts, not only am I going to get you a good deal on the stocks, but I'm also gonna get, when your cash is sitting there in the account, I'm gonna get you a great healthy rate of return. Let me explain. This is the benefit of selling cash covered puts. First of all, you earn a higher rate of return on your cash because you are selling those cash covered puts. And when we do buy our investment securities, we're gonna get them at a discount price. Okay, to understand the strategy, you need to know a little bit about what is an option. So this option thing that we're trading on the markets, it's actually a contract between two people. The contrast contract, it has an exercise or an expiration date and an exercise or what we call strike price. So each one of these contracts, the two parameters are it has a date which it expires and it has a price that uh, it expires at. In this contract, it is actually bought and sold and it's bought and sold in a marketplace and the ones that we trade on the options market, they're called standardized contracts because we don't need a lawyer to negotiate it between the buyer and seller. It's a standardized contract and all we do is fill in the blanks of the exercise date and the strike price. Okay, so we're talking about selling these cash covered put options. When you sell a put option to someone, by definition, they pay you some money and in return, you obligate yourself to buy their security, whether it's a stock, an ETF, an index, at the strike price if they exercise their right. And they can exercise their right anytime before the expiration date. So, okay, we kind of get the idea, what does that mean? Well, let's take a look at how this strategy works. Step one, have the cash in your account with which to buy the security. And if you were gonna be buying the security every month or every year anyway, that's easy. Have the cash in your account. Second, sell a near-term put option with a lower strike price than the current security price. Step three, you're gonna wait. Okay, what's gonna happen? No matter what, you're going to get the money for selling that near-term put option. You're going to get basically a return on having that cash there. But also, if the buyer exercises that put option, you're gonna be buying that security at a discounted price. Now, let me show you an example. This is the actual stock that my friend was talking about. This is a stock chart for General Motors. And you can see that General Motors right now is trading at $25.91. It's fluctuating a little bit because the market is open, but $25.92. So what if instead of us going out and buying General Motors for $25.91.92, what if instead we come over here 
and we sell the near term. Now, options expire monthly. They always expire on the third Friday of the month. There are weekly options you can do this with, but let's stick with the monthlies. The next one is going to be June 19th of 2020. So that's when it's going to expire. What if I sell the $25 strike price to somebody? The $25 strike price is going for, it looks like between $1.12 and $1.15. So let's say we make $1.13 or $1.14 on selling that, uh, secure, that, that put option. Okay, so we get the $1.13, we get the $1.14 up front. Now, what happens? Well, if it dips down and before the third Friday of June, somebody wants us to get to, to exercise their option, will wind up buying GM, not at $25.91, 92, right now it's at 25.90, not at those prices, but at $25. So at a discount from what we were going to pay. And at the same time, we get to keep that $1.13, that $1.14. If they don't get exercised, we get to keep that $1.13, $1.14 anyway, and we get to do it again after June for the July and then for the August option and then the September option. In fact, we can create kind of a cash flow. In fact, what is that cash flow? We were talking about putting that money into a savings account and making no interest, which was the whole reason why my friend wanted to buy GM stock to begin with. If I make $1.13 on $25.90, that's 4.36, 4.4% per month, right? That's a great rate of return. So this is a fantastic strategy. Now that amount could be, you know, it's got a lot of variables behind what that amount might be. It could be higher or lower, but you're still going to make a much healthier rate of return than even having your money in a mutual fund and you have the potential to buy the stock at a discount. Now, what are the gotchas? What should we know? Well, first of all, this is a strategy that is made for investors. Just as if we were buying the security outright, as any investor would, we should know about the security. If it's a stock, we should know about the company. If it's an ETF, we should know about the sector or whatever that ETF represents. And we should only use this strategy when we would otherwise be buying that security. It's typically not when the market is overbought, you know, overpriced, or when the market's selling off. So you're only gonna use this strategy when you would be buying the stock outright anyway. And this strategy is not for speculators, it's for the investors out there who are gonna be buying this stock anyway, for the long term, buy and hold. What else should we know? Well, first of all, I'd like you to have a chat with your broker to let them know that you intend to be selling these cash covered puts, cash secured puts. And why is that? Because they may want you to know about the risks of options. They may want you to sign off on it. They may want to show you how on their trading platform to do this type of transaction. So have this chat with your broker. Also, almost all put option contracts traded they entitle the buyer to sell lots of 100 shares of their security to the seller. So make sure you understand that it's not just one share of stock or ETF or index, it's gonna be 100 shares. So be prepared with the amount of cash to be buying 100 or lots of 100s of these shares. But with that said, that is the strategy and that's a much better strategy than just buying stock shares outright for an investment purpose selling cash secured puts is the way to go. So I hope you like this tidbit. If you are watching this on one of my social media channels, please hit the subscribe button, definitely hit the like button, and please hit the notifications button so you get notice when I post my next video. Thanks everybody, take care.